fact, you can't do anything to something that's wrong and make it right. The bill now heads to a supportive Governor Pat Quinn. Alex Stegman for CBS News, Springfield, Illinois. New research has found that testosterone treatments could increase the risk for heart attacks, strokes, and death. CBS's Dr. John LaPook says older men with low T and other health problems like heart disease were studied. There clearly are long-term effects of testosterone that we don't know about yet because it hasn't really been studied in the gold standard way. This study suggested a 29% increased risk of cardiovascular disease, but this was in a very high-risk population of men. They had heart disease for the most part. And it wasn't a perfect study, but it raises a red flag. The Garden State Plaza Mall in New Jersey reopening today for the first time since Monday night shooting incident. Relatives of the gunman who fired but didn't shoot anyone and later took his own life say he was well liked and gave no warning about what he intended to do. Secretary of State Kerry's in the Middle East meeting with Israeli and Palestinian leaders pushing for movement on peace talks. I hope that we will continue in the good faith that brought the parties together in the first place. Uh, This can be achieved. The latest round of negotiations began in July, but the goal of getting an agreement within nine months appears in jeopardy. At the Amanda Knox retrial in Italy, her former boyfriend and co-defendant told the court he's not responsible for the murder of student Meredith Kircher. Knox, whose original conviction was overturned, is not attending the latest trial. Sources have told the Sun Sentinel newspaper that suspended Miami Dolphins lineman Richie Incognito was asked by coaches to toughen up teammate Jonathan Martin after Martin missed a spring workout and may have gone too far. Incognito was accused of bullying Martin with racist and threatening texts. Martin left the team last week. Incognito has said little when asked about it last night. I'm just trying to weather the storm right now. This will pass. The NFL is investigating. Well, excitement and high tension last night in Las Vegas. And now the river card is a four! 23-year-old Ryan Reese came from behind in the final head-to-head match to win the World Series of Poker on ESPN. The poker pro from Michigan wins nearly $8.5 million. Love means a lot when it comes to a happy marriage. But CBS's Jim Shenevy tells us a new report looks at what seems to be an important ingredient. Looking for the key to a long and happy marriage? According to a new study, it's the temperament of the wife. Researchers at Berkeley College in California studied married couples and found that the husband's temperament had little to do with the long-term success of the marriage. Rather, it was the wife, and in particular, wives who were able to calm down quickly after an argument, no matter how long the other half stayed angry. The researchers found that women were much better at starting the conversation to settle differences, allowing the marriage to move on. Jim Shanavi, CBS News. 36 years ago, Roots was a TV sensation. The miniseries about generations of a slave family was highly acclaimed and won nine Emmy Awards. Now the History Channel is trying to lay the groundwork for a remake, hoping to get it on the air in 2015. And that's the World News Roundup for Wednesday. I'm Steve Kaith and CBS News. Welcome back to Studio 27 on this Wednesday morning. Nearly forgot what day it was. Good Wednesday morning, and uh, it's time for news of the weird. So let's let's get to it, shall we? And in news of the weird this morning, 11, 12, 13. Expect to see a spike in the number of weddings on uh, Tuesday of next week. That's according to a survey by David's Bridal that there will be a large spike in weddings on the day 11, 12, 13. In a survey of 500 women who were engaged within the last couple of months, there's a rising trend in couples seeking what, what the company called iconic wedding dates. Another recent example was 777 when 65,000 couples got married. I'm just curious of how many of those couples are still together today. But uh, 11, 12, 13. As for me, I'm looking more forward to 11, 13, 13. But that's for more personal reasons. Okay? And that's the news of the weird for this Wednesday. 
Now let's find out what's popping on the old Twitter, paging, uh, paging uh, Governor Rick Perry of Texas. Are you there, Governor? And you can always follow me on Twitter. Hello, computer. Just use the keyboard. The keyboard. How quaint. <laughs> And in uh, popular tweets of the day, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul is being accused of plagiarism in several of his speeches, op-ed pieces, and his book, Government Bullies. Well, according to BuzzFeed, they found that parts of a Paul op-ed in the Washington Times were copied nearly word for word from an op-ed written by Dan Stewart of the week. Senator Paul said that he would begin adding footnotes if it will make people leave me the hell alone. Boy, he's a little bit touchy, isn't he? Uh, so I've searched the tweeter to see what uh, people were saying about this. According to Stephen Pressman, yes, Rand Paul is being held to an unfair standard. Standards for Congress much be, must be... <laughs> let's try that again. Yes, Rand Paul is being held to an unfair standard. Standards for Congress much... must. <laughs> Come on, Joe! All right, one more time. Yes, Rand Paul is being held to an unfair standard. Standards for Congress must be much lower than the standards. You know, screwing it up was a whole lot easier. Uh, let's see here. Who else here? Catherine Mum writes... I ought to turn this contrast up a little bit. Maybe that might be a little easier to read. Okay. Catherine Mum writes, Very happy to leave Rand Paul the hell alone, especially in the voting booth. Ooh, good one. Good one. Joe Sonka writes, As if having to play by the same rules as high school kids is some kind of imposition. Ooh, bazinga. And finally, Ignacio Carrion writes, If we can start calling Rand Paul Senator Footnote. And those are the popular tweets of the day. So now it's time for my favorite portion of this program. A little segment I like to call the Song of the Day. And so let me load the Song of the Day into the system. And away we go. And here's the Song of the Day. The late great Che uh, Ray Che Che Rarles. Oh my God! Slow down, Joe. Make the words count. Ray Charles is our artist of the day, and the tune is called "Mess Round," written by Atlantic Red Records president and founder Ahmet Ertegun. How do you however you pronounce that name? And was one of Ray Charles' first hits. Uh, the artist claims that his inspiration for writing "Mess Round" was Pete Johnson. Earlier versions of the tune, a New Orleans boogie piano riff, can be heard throughout the early 30s and 40s, the earliest of all being Cow Cow Blues from Charles Cow Cow Davenport in 1928. Dr. John has spoken of the origination of his tune on his Dr. John Teaches the New Orleans Piano Series of DVDs. The lyrics, the lyrics urged listeners to dance mess around, along with a few other key phrases, notably the girl with the red dress on, hearkening back to... Uh, Pine Top's Boogie Woogie, the early Boogie Woogie classic. Mess Around became a big R&B charted hit when it was released as a single in early 1953. It was covered by The Animals in 1965. Other cultural references and covers includes the song was featured in the films Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, as John Candy plays along while driving a car. It was featured in the 2004 biopic film Ray. Dr. John included it in his collection of New Orleans classics, Dr. John's Gumbo. Professor Longhair covered the song on several of his albums, including Rock and Roll Gumbo, 1976. It was covered by New York City Psycho Swing and the ska band Tri-State Conspiracy in 2008 on their second album, Nuisance. And uh, a small portion of the song was featured in the 2011 Family Guy remake of Return of the Jedi entitled It's a Trap and an homage to the famous scene from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. And the Dutch Rhythm and Blues band Mess Around was named after this song. And now without further delay from the class of 1953, here is Brother Ray Charles and Mess Around. People too, I mess around. They're doing the mess around. They're doing the mess around. Everybody doing the mess around. Ah, everybody. 
everybody was juice, you can bet your soul. They did the boogie boogie with a sturdy roll. They mess around. They're doing the mess around. They're doing the mess around. Everybody doing the mess around. Now, uh, when I say stop, don't you move a pain. When I say go, just uh, shake your leg and do the mess around. Brother Ray Charles and Mess Around, today's song of the day. And what do you say we take a look at what's on TV tonight? So bear with me for just a moment. I'm having some server problems. And for some reason, the computer is not wanting to load the sounder for this. And I don't think it's going to do it. It must be too long for some reason. So we're going to try something else here. Let's see if I can find an alternative. So bear with me for just a moment. See if I can find an alternative here that might work. Um, hmm. Let's see if that will load. Okay. Uh, of course it won't load. No, it's not that long. What is going on here? What in the wide, wide world of sports is going on around here? Well, screw it. I'm just going to read the list. <laughs> Computer's not cooperating. Uh, what's on TV tonight? The 47th Annual CMA Awards on ABC. Beverly Hills Pawn on Reels. And Paranormal Witness Season 3 Fall Premiere tonight on the Sci-Fi Channel. And that's what's on the television for tonight in terms of new programming. Well, that loaded. Okay. Well, I guess, guess we'll go with that. Uh, for some reason, my uh, TV, what's on TV tonight theme is not wanting to play. I don't know what's the deal with that. I know the file's still good. At least it should be. Okay, well, was, did I put Enterprise in there? I don't see it either. I thought I loaded it. I'm talking to myself here. So just bear with me. I have my comfort carts, and they aren't. For some reason, some of them are not wanting to play. So put that one down there. Yeah, that loaded right away. I don't know what the deal is. Well, we'll play this one instead. Anyway, friends, uh, that's going to do it for the show for today. I want to thank my sponsors. They include Wishing Stars Native Creations, along with Maria Sewer with Fine Art Today, and Marshall Woodworking. Check out... Uh, their sites, and as well as the rest of my sponsors on the Friends page at tinyurl.com slash Gunther's House or slash Gunther Mobile. Also, send me your emails to Gunther's House of Friends at gmail.com or leave me a message on Skype at G800-486-8437. And um, follow me on Twitter at jhafter 99 and also, you can listen to previous episodes of this show by downloading the Stitcher app by going to stitcher.com or looking for the Stitcher app on the opening page of my website 
or go to Spreaker.com and look up Gunther's House of Friends after you download the app. Spreaker.